Okay, just gonna take it a bit steady today. Nice and steady. Don't really want to go for this one today. I've had a few warm up matches today, so feeling okay, but not feeling too risky today. I just want to maybe play a little bit of safe chess. Um, ju -ju, nice and steady away. Safe chess, safe chess, safe chess. Just support the pawn. Not going to go crazy. Probably could have taken, but I will just play some safe chess. So I want to try and practice that. Not taking all the time. Just trying to reserve the taking for when it's absolutely necessary. Hmm. Shall we just... the bishop power maybe just go on castle it's a 30 minute game with a five second increment so don't need to move so fast <clears throat> okay safe game nothing too crazy just bringing the oh what did we learn what did we say we said we weren't going to do the talking thing didn't we uh, but we're trying to be educational for ourselves. If there's stream strike sniping, then the stream sniping. Fair enough. Okay. So just maybe come here, maybe touch onto the bishop. I'm just going to play safe. Safe, steady. Nothing too crazy, just nice and steady away. <clears throat> Excuse me. Looks like he's want to get some activity going so now the bishop is supporting the knight we could potentially just take this pawn off if their knight takes could take the knight queen takes maybe the bishop takes the knight <clears throat> what's the four move calculation take here i think we need to get active don't want to sit here and just wait to be pummeled could take or could take with the pawn. I think taking with the knight feels better. Take with the knight, knight takes back. Pawn takes. Queen takes. Hmm, something to do with this bishop here, isn't it? Let's take the pawn. I think there's something there. We need to do something. We don't want these pawns mashing our center up anyway. So the knight does take. And we were going to take here. And then after that point, queen takes, obviously. Then we did say just taking the bishop here. So I think we'll follow that track. So it's even Stevens at the moment. And they've taken with the knight. So that seems all right. Now we could touch onto the knight. Just send him back. Could attack the queen. Any of them half decent for me? Attack, 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 defend, attack, defend. Let's just attack this knight. Smaller piece attack and a higher piece can't be wrong. So I'll send it back to whence it came. This pawn's got no protection on, but we can't get to it. 
could attack here, but does that weaken us a little bit? Maybe no, bishop comes here. Does it weaken? Then we're babysitting this pawn. Just bring the rook across, maybe just to play it safe, nice and steady, or this rook even. Just play it safe and steady. Plus, then we're basically looking to get a two on one x ray through, two on one with the knight and the pawn. Then maybe we can start leaning on the queen a bit. So, I'm going to bring the rook across. I've got plenty of time just trying to get position, playing safe chess as best possible. Um, my screen just went all funky then. Okay, so the bishop's out. Again, don't want to do anything too crazy. I'm not too sure about extending here because of the potential for... And then I'm babysitting this pawn. He's going to have like three pieces and stuff on there. So he'll have his rook and we'll just have the bishop and the queen. So that probably isn't going to work. And that's probably why they're leaving the queen here. So maybe we resist that type of situation. Knights hunt the bishops in our mantra, so that's a, a pretty straightforward attack. Could bring the rook here, supporting this pawn, attacking. And rooks don't have any place in the centre of the ball, but I suppose it could help support here. But that's not a really good position for the rook. So my most obvious movement is the knight attacking the bishop. And I don't think there's anything else apart from bringing this here to get the two on one. But he does have his queen and his knight protecting. He could bring his rook here as well. It's potential. Anything else could push this pawn here to then attack the bishop. Is that too safe? Let's attack the bishop. We've worked through all these calculations now, so there's potential movements that we can make. It's just that that one definitely is going to weaken our position, so we we'll probably need to hang fire from that. We do have a little time burner in a sense, which is the rook just coming here. So that feels fairly happy. Then we still do have these potentially, but he's going to move his bishop anyway. Do have potential for attacking the queen, attacking the knight, attacking the pawn, attacking the rook. Looks like they've gone right into the tank on this one, so just take a little bit of a breather. I could actually... There's no pause on here, is there?
not really in the tank. All right, um, what do we have? That's a very unusual move. So they went in the tank on that move. But we still take the bishop. So the bishop's still there. Queen obviously is going to take. Does that improve their position? Capture, then they capture. Doesn't have any other supporting pieces coming towards our king area. Hmm, they put a lot of thought into that. Am I falling into some sort of trap? What's the deal here? Takes, takes. We can simply take. Queen takes back. Then we've got like an x-ray through to his queen. So our bishop can kind of go anywhere. But there's nothing meaty, is there? Oh, I could attack his um, knight. Double the pawns. So if the queen's here, then bring the bishop here. X-ray through to the knight. The queen has to move somewhere. I suppose it moves back just to defend the knight. Oh no, it can't because the rook is going to be still on it. So it's going to have to move to the side. Um, potentially coming to here. Yeah. Potentially coming to there because then if the bishop takes, then the queen takes. We're kind of owning the file for a moment, but I think he'll just bring his rook here and... Hmm. Okay, I think that will kind of work for us. Let's just grab. I'm not sure that that needs a lot of thought process because they spent a lot of time. They must have gone through their own calculation. Okay, this is very odd, the amount of time they're taking to make the move here. They've already spent a lot of time to actually get to this position with the pawn move. So it's pretty obvious that the queen is going to take the knight. So I don't really understand why it's taking so long to make that move. But I suppose it stems back again to the five minute guy that I keep mentioning all the time took about five minutes over each move but he ended up winning the tournament anyway so the queen does take so that's pretty um, obvious and straightforward so we're just going to grab we're following the process that we said if he does take with the queen the bishop comes here and if they um, stream snipe it well okay so we'll just bring the bishop here an x-ray through to the knight and we did say they're probably just going to come here, so at least then the queen takes. So it's all pretty even, Stevens. There's nothing great. Could end up just being a straightforward draw. Hopefully one of the key things is, yeah, so he's gone back to protect the knight. So he's gone somewhere to protect the knight. I think if we take it, it's just going to be a draw, isn't it? I think. <laughs> we go up, then he takes our pawn. 
with his queen can we take then he takes our pawn and then we can't take this pawn but then we can take his knight with the bishop does that seem feasible I'm not sure of. He might just move the knight out of the way. If he moves the knight, we can take the pawn. Hmm. Can we attack the bish queen again? And then go for this pawn. Then his rook's just going to defend anyway, isn't it? Or just attack our queen. Wow, how is my time lower than theirs? I thought I thought they'd take on more time over their moves. Oh dear. Well <laughs> that's a horse of a different colour, isn't it? I think I like the bishop attacking the queen again. It's gone opposite our king, but I'm just gonna go with this. With maybe a potential for this, but I'm not too sure about this now because of this rook action or this rook action here attacking our queen. So I'm a positional player. I mean, whipping stuff off the board is the ethos of what we talk about with the mantra, <clears throat> but it's doing it strategically. I think if we just grab this and grab it's going to be more a draw type situation and we're trying to kind of stay away from going for the draws only going for the draws if there's definitely nothing else that we can do but a smaller piece can attack a higher piece at the minute so let's just keep that baby rolling at the minute we really wanted to get here to take this but that isn't going to happen so let's take that out of our mental roller decks Oh, I seriously didn't think I was taking that long over my moves, but I, I really am, aren't I? <laughs> oh dear, they might be doing their own stream, that's why they take long as well. That's all good. Okay, so the Queen does a, a gentle move. Queen does a gentle move. Um, is there... No, no, no. Elements of coming here. That's too slow, isn't it? Coming here. Still, no. We're, we've knocked that one on the head. We're not doing that one. Looking to attack, queen can take the pawn, then we can take the knight. So he's definitely not going to do that, so he's probably going to exchange there. Does that end up being a draw, or I feel a little bit better about that position? Mm hmm. Go for the queen exchange. If he goes for the pawn, then at least we're going to be better. for the pawn we did say we're playing simple chess cover the pawn and it's also covering key squares especially for the knight mobilizing it's probably looking to go here I think we're going to go simple simple chess I think maybe one of this ah, he's attacking the queen so Yes, they can move fast. 
Okay, so that gives us the opportunity to maybe go to one of these key squares here. I think going for the trade off with the queen looks fairly good for us, you know. I'm actually going to go for the trade. If he, oh, I was just about to say, if they don't, then we can take the knight off the board and get the pawn as well. They're moving like they've got something sewn up. <clears throat> Looks fairly drawish now. We have to box a little bit clever. He's owning this file with his rook. We're owning this file with our rook. Probably looking to get them traded off. He might actually just bring his rook here to start the trade process. If he goes there, then he'd be maybe looking for his knight to attack our bishop. I suppose then we can just take the pawn off here. Okay, so I'm just trying to work a pattern of potential moves. And as usual, they never do what we expect them to do. Yeah, like we said, bringing the rook through, looking for the exchange. And I don't really see a problem with taking that rook off the board. We do have a... A mighty bishop. I never. I'm surprised. I'm saying that a mighty bishop because I never used to like bishops, but now the bishops and the knights, I work them as equals. And that 0.25% difference of betterment for the bishop, maybe I can make it work for me. Although if I do have a knight and I'm against the bishop, I feel fairly comfortable with the knight against the bishop. Uh, but I think it's a simple capture thing because I'll lose tempo, won't I? And I've got to check on his king. Yeah, this is petering out to be a draw. This is why they're moving kind of quick now, I think. Could double the pawns now and that will give us a little bit of a strength coming towards the end game. I think that'll work for us quite nicely. We take doubles the pawns then at least we've got linked pawns here going towards the end game get the king involved get the rook involved start putting pressure towards this these pawns here let's just take that off the board yeah look how quick they're moving now but positionally this should stand us in good stead because we're just playing simple chess here Yeah, this is like, I won't say baby chess, but this is simple chess utilising potential weaknesses against the opponent coming towards the end game. Could have looked to trade down because this pawn structure looks quite tasty for us. I think if they offer the trade, we'll gladly take. seem to have slowed down a bit now and there's no guarantees just because I've got double pawns that I've got any chance of winning anything but in the eyes of the strategy of the game for chess if the opponent does have double pawns at the end game and they're not supported by any other pieces so if he had a rook and another piece that was supporting oh so he's going for the attacks so that's pretty straightforward in terms of pushing here. We could look to be defensive and bring the rook up here, but that's I don't think that's as strong because that's being defensive. And then the power base of these, what we've got with the linked pawns, is not going to work for us. Could look to attack his pawn up here, but then his rook just comes down and defends. In fact, defence probably just takes our pawn off the board. So I think we're just going to push through the centre here. It's going to try and weaken this structure. So it's bringing the king across. It's going to try and weaken our structure with this pawn structure thing going here. Get the king involved. Get the king up, king up. 
Let's get the king up. I have to practice these because we're, I'm going to the over the board tournament in a few weeks time. So I know I'm definitely going to end up in positions like these. I have to really just, yeah, he's going to try and break it open. He's going to try and break it open. We could bring the rook here to defend. Could take and double our own pawns. Could just keep developing the rook up, the king up, sorry. Could come here if he does take, rook takes. Maybe his rook takes, I'm not too sure. Hmm. Bring the rook up. I'm favouring this move rather than doubling the pawns. If we did double the pawns, then his rook can come down and attack the pawns here. I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot. We did say it was a little bit drawish earlier on. Felt like we, if we doubled these pawns and broke them up a bit, that we had a little bit of an advantage. But I'm not too sure now. But we'll see. We, it should give us something. Maybe I don't take with the rook, though. I'll take with one of the pawns. I'm surprised they've not offered a draw actually. Does capture now? Um, my initial thing was taken with the rook. Is that just too draw ish though? Because can my pawns get up there at all in any way, shape? Or maybe he doesn't take anyway. He might just slide across somewhere else and go here. Uh, then am I going to have to come down instead of push up because his pawn pushes down? Not sure. I think taking with the rook is going to be a draw. Which way do we want to come in or out? Take in with the pawn. Oh, these positions. These are the killer positions, especially playing over the board and you sat there and you're thinking, oh. Could I have got a win here when I take this home and do the evaluation? Is this going to be? We take... Rook's still here. Maybe he drops this pawn, because there's nothing else threatening. This can threaten. His rook can't get this pawn, but then he comes down. And we take that looks okay but is there any meat on the bones because I'm gonna have to bring my rook here to defend the pawn and I'm stuck in the center aren't I? if his rook comes down Go there, then his rook can just attack this pawn. Then I'm playing defense Annie. With the potential for coming here and leaning on these pawns. Ah, 
So my instinct is to say take here. What if we take there? Uh, maybe you can push still, take. Ay, 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 ay. Come on, what's the pattern? I really want my rook to be here, don't I? If I do this, he's definitely going to push down here, isn't he? Then we take, and then my pawns are blocked by his pawn. My pawns are blocked by his pawn. So that's what we don't want, isn't it? We don't want our pawns being blocked. So we may as well, I'm going to take this side because we don't want to block our pawns. Okay, right, right, right. He does have the potential for coming to attack, which is a bit annoying. But like we said, just coming down here, defending, and maybe getting across. Oh, he's attacked first. We'd, in our example, we did actually say he he could do he was going to do that as a human. Okay, right. Okay, so he's, uh, let's just take. Don't need to overthink that. Uh, he's moving quick now, so we're going to have to push the pawn up, elevate it. Going to have to elevate it, aren't we? Because the rook is already here. All right, okay. So at least the story in my head worked for now because we didn't want to block our pawns on his double pawns. That really would have given us a very bad position. And I think it would have been a definite draw because we would have just been jammed here and my rook would have had to have been here and his rook would have been able to come down. Then his king would have got involved. Yeah, so it would have been a draw. So the king's getting activated now, so we need to probably get our king into the game, obviously. Makes sense. When you get to the end game, you got to push it up. My time is running down so badly, I'm taking so long. But it's not a blitz match. So we're blocking his king from actually getting towards here, which is good. But he's going to get down and down and down. So what happens if we move our king up? Just to get into the game a little bit. We need to get it centralised. And maybe block off so that he can't get to here. But obviously this pawn is going to come ramping down. So we have to be mindful of that as well. Rook's down. It's feeling like he's got it all sewn up. But I really don't want to bring my rook across here. Because I want to stop his king from going there. But there's nothing else I can do. I could push my rook up. But then his pawn just comes down and hits my rook. Where does my rook go then? And plus he'll take this pawn as well. So I'm going to have to play basic chess. Simple chess like we said right at the very beginning. This player's quite good, actually, you know. They're quite good. They're quite the... Oh, he's going to get a 2-on-1, -on but we've got 2-on-1 protection with our king. Do we beat them to the punch? I have to be mindful, he's got these as well. We do have our own pawns to contend with. Do we want to block their attack process off, or do we just go and defend the um, pawn? Which isn't being immediately attacked, but I'm actually going to just bring my king here, because that's definitely what's going to happen. Mm. This is a bit tense. Yep, we set. So there's nothing else to do here now really. I think it's a draw. 
although I do feel a little bit better because I do have a past pawn on here and we're, it's actually plus one these are the types of games that my opponents when we play over the board they'll rinse me out you know I would have offered a draw by now you know if I was black I'd have offered a draw you know and they'd sit there and they'd look at me and go no I've got that extra pawn I'm going to clean you out so I should be able to convert this but it just looks drawish because this pawn ain't going anywhere. Ah, oh, man. I can just lever these up a bit, but that's about it really, isn't it? Opposites attract. Okay, so let's have a look at this situation here then. So if I'm playing this over the board, right, yeah, and I'm going, ah, oh, it's definitely a draw, even though I'm plus one. Opposite to that, that pawn's not elevated up the board yet. This pawn's not elevated up the board. This one is. So that probably is the leader, it obviously is the leader of the pack. Do we look to block this one off in the first instance? So if this one was down potentially looking to block it off here but because this one's down I'm going to block this off here and then see how that works because there's nothing happening on this side of the board they may look to champion or do slow moves but maybe we can do the opposites attract type thing might not work might have to do like a an adjacent situation Yeah, it's really annoying when you've got the extra pawn, but you just can't break through and you have to sort of resign yourself to the fact that it's a draw. But you've also got to be trying to push yourself. Oof, yeah, <laughs> definitely looks drawish to me. So he's got very lucky with his nice position, blocking off my pawn here. He's got his king here ready to take this here, so I'm having to babysit this pawn. These pawns here are equal, so in essence, really and truly, these should just get blocked off. Is there a Zugzwang situation out of this? Once these get blocked off, you know, say that they just jam themselves up, then say it's Black's turn to move. He could just move up and down with his rook, couldn't he? But if he moves up and down with his rook and moves off of the pressure here, our king could potentially come here if these pawns are all jammed down here. That might be the saving grace, but I don't know. I don't know. I cannot believe I'm on nine minutes. <laughs> nine minutes. Oh, my dears. Okay, but you've got to take your time. These are long play games. You have to take your time to f try and find something. Or just accept that it's a draw. I'm, I'm really shocked that they haven't actually offered the draw. Would I take it though? I don't know. I think I'll, I'm going to force myself to try and push it to a physical draw in the sense of the game actually playing out as a draw obviously secretly hoping that they make a mistake during that process and then we can take advantage <gasps> he's taking himself off but he's actually coming for our king that's the issue. He's coming for the king, putting a check on here. And squeeze across, puts another check on, squeeze across, and then he's got all this type of stuff going on. I might be thinking too far advanced there.
What damage is he really going to cause though? We can move around so that I don't think that's a big issue. Maybe does does he come here? Ah, that's a good one, isn't it? Yes, he could end up putting pressure on this pawn. Interesting times. Yeah, I see it, I see it. Comes around, comes around, puts his, because my king can't get into here. So we're going to kind of lose this pawn. Hmm. Yes, we're going to lose that pawn. Right, I need to speed up, but um, I can't speed up until I know exactly what it is I'm trying to do. That is definitely a key move there, putting a two on one here. So if we move the king out of the way, we know that's coming. So if he's then going to attack us, we can maybe bring our rook here, protecting the pawn, attacking his pawn. Does that work? Got to do something because the snowball starting to take effect. I'm bringing the king back here and maybe looking to do something like this if that, I think that's going to happen. It's a pretty obvious attack process there. Oh, okay. Very clever. This player's a little bit good. They are very good. I'm not saying they did spot it, but that's the potential area that they're looking for unless of course they're watching my stream and they're taking all the little pointers <laughs> so if i stay quiet now and don't say anything oh lordy dog what is that so if he splits his pawns up then we do have this pawn protecting so it's going to double up anyway. So it's going to double up. Ah, just pushing past. Time is running out. I mean, maybe don't focus so much on the time. It does have like a five second increment. Very good player. So I think that was a, well, not a delay tactic. It was very clever because, as we said, we wanted our rook to come here to attack the pawn. But this pawn now is blocking that way. Interesting times. How clever is that? So now he can bring his rook quite freely to come here to attack. I said I was going to stay quiet, didn't I? I shouldn't be showing the stuff. Ooh, tricky dicky. Yeah, same principle. Uh, it's still coming down for this particular pawn. Okay. So it's not going to get here. It's not going to get there. It's coming here. Do, do, do. What can we do? Could we attack the pawn? I don't think that's going to work though because his rook's going to come and put a check on us. Push the pawn up. Hmm. 
Mm, maybe not pushing the pawn up. That doesn't look good to me. Um, maybe he's not looking to come to this square at all. That square. Maybe he's looking to attack this pawn. After all that. So it's probably best bringing the king here to stop that. And then it's going to be checks, checks. Put a check on. Then maybe I move here. Then he comes down and attacks the pawn. Maybe I move back. Uh, oh, he's gone right to the bottom. Damn it. Damn it. He's gone right to the bottom. My knee jerk reaction was to just bring the rook here and put it and get it out of the way. Would that cause us problems? don't think it does. Just jumping at the bit for this pawn. Damn, this play is good. I'm on four minutes. Dear me. I can move fast when I need to. I just want to really try and get this sorted out. This guy is good. Obviously, this is coming here, isn't it? Oh, I'm shocked. I'm shocked. I thought he was going to attack this pawn here, but I don't. I don't understand why they didn't actually. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to attack this pawn here. There's something needs to happen. I mean, it doesn't have to take, obviously. got this square if we need to go here but again this pawn can just come down and block the rook off so this is why I'm a bit unsure as to why they didn't do that move but I don't want these pawns here anymore let's push down man too good for me too good for me hmm Move this king off the line. Let's go and get this pawn. Only other piece that can defend probably is going to shoot this pawn down, attack our rook. Three minutes I'm on. Oh, I'm in blitz territory with the five second increment. What? Where is he getting these moves from? It's stopping my king from getting up there, isn't it? Hmm. Well, I don't know. I really don't know. It's like I'm losing pieces left, right and centre here. This guy's a little bit too good, to tell you the truth. Wow. They're a little bit too good for me. Interesting. I did have... Um, one of the games that I'd played recently, they actually got banned. Um, 
and it was a game that I took a disadvantage in, but it was kind of a strange disadvantage because they were a little bit too good and they actually got banned. I'm hoping this player is not falling into that category. That would be a shame. You know, I like to play fairly, but wow, these they're playing really quite good moves here. Damn, they are too good. Eh? <laughs> okay. Right. Fair dues. <laughs> uh, give me strength. It's not even a rated game. This is a casual game. Exactly. <laughs> oh dear, okay, right, fair enough. <laughs> oh. Let's hope, fingers crossed, they can't play it fast. But I mean, they've got 11 minutes, so they don't have to move that quick. <laughs> Make me laugh. Oh dear. Making me laugh. <laughs> oh, dear me. I'm saying nothing and full concentration here. I'm in blitz mode.
Ooh, shocked and surprised. I think they've resigned. Well, okay, they were very, 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 very strong. Very, 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 very. Okay, interesting game. Um, this has taken me to the hour. Um, I've only played one game. I'm supposed to be playing a few games, but um, on the positive side, it was a good practice, I suppose. I'm going to have a look at the analysis on this thing. Let me see, probably busting out some zero, zero, zeros and all that malarkey. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, well, they've not even run an analysis thing. Okay, I thought they would have done that. Anyway, let's just push through here and have a look at the situation because that was looking a bit hefty for me. Oh, let's take the... Um, So practicing the end game was kind of crucial for us on that one. Is it on the screen? Yeah. Um, boom, 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 boom. Where's the analysis thing? Okay, that's it. There we go. So let's have a look and see what was really happening in this game. So develop the night. So we said we're playing safe. So nothing crazy. Nice little capture with the night. Felt okay, but it's giving them a minus point something. Oh, plus one point something there. Captured. Okay. Queen captures. Bishop captures. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece. Let's get to. Oh, doesn't like that, but we captured, captured. So we felt that kind of did improve our position a little bit because we could attack the queen with a lesser piece, a smaller piece. So again, keeping the attack on seemed to be okay. Blocking the queen's potential attack on there. Looking for the exchange, they do actually take, so it's the smallest of advantages, but that's nothing, neither here nor there. And the rook exchange looks like it's in our favour. So now doubling the pawn situation. It's only plus point, oh, plus point nine, point seven. It's better than a zero. So this is where we said we're going to try and beat the draw mentality if we can. It felt a bit better because we doubled their pawns, but how do you do it? Uh, this is the type of stuff that has been to, done to me uh, for many years, for especially over the board. You know, understanding the end game and the weakness of the pawns going forward. So I don't know if we did the best stuff here at all. It did look a bit shaky. So we push through. There's no major advantages at all, is there? They did the big crazy pawn move. I think we took a long time over this next move as well, didn't we? So we brought the rook through. Oh, that dropped, didn't it? We dropped point three. Didn't like that. And then we decided we didn't want our pawns being blocked off. Because uh, what was the story? If we go here like this, then it, the potential is for this to happen here. But now that I'm looking at it, maybe I could have just squeezed my rook here. But then it does take. And then we take. Hey, that could have worked out, couldn't it? Wow, I was so engrossed in that. I don't know if that works. Let's see if it works. Yeah, it's draw. It's drawish. And we wanted to stay away from the draw, didn't we? Because I suppose, in a sense, they just take and then we take. Yeah, it looks full blown draw. That's not what we wanted. 
Okay, so happy we stayed away from that then. Oh, hold on. Polter kill. A pawn on a4 would have been far better. A4, a4, a4. At this stage here. Because we captured like this with the idea of potentially getting a pawn up, you know, on the a file. So we didn't go the centre way because we didn't want to get a draw. So we took a long time over this particular move, Paul, to kill. So then they pushed down and we captured. So we're, we're attempting, we've got the A4 there. But then at this point, I don't know if we played the better moves or not really because it felt kind of drawish as they were blocking off with their rook. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Um... So it feels good, but I'm bringing my king now, supporting the pawn with the rook, because I know he's going to come and put a two on one with his rook and his king. So then at this point here in the match, I was like thinking, well, this could be a kind of draw. So I was hoping that they were potentially going to bring their pawns down and lock everything down. But then I realized it's got this potential. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I'm, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, dear. You were playing really well. You were playing so good towards that end game. I, I thought, oh, my God, I must be playing a machine here or something because the, you were coming out with some strong stuff. I was, like, panicking. Uh, but, no, seriously, you played really well. Um, yeah, um, this particular threat here of attacking this pawn, I was so panicked about. Um, because he's going to have the king and the rook against this pawn. And I didn't really know what to do at that point. Oh, yeah, I mean, this this dancing around with the king and the... Basically, like I said, I, I was just fearful of this attack here. But I don't think it ever came, so... Yeah, I've got that pawn on the A, but I, I don't know how I was going to get that up there. I was really in a flap. So I was waiting, for, hopefully, that the opponent made some type of mistake. Um, but the rook was coming round the back. I'm like thinking, oh my gosh, I didn't even visualise him coming here. But then I actually noticed he was going to be potentially coming to attack this pawn to wipe it off the board. So I thought I'd better go for an exchange with the rook and see if he wants to get it off. But no, wasn't having any of that whatsoever. So at this point, I thought I need to bring the king across and protect the pawn. And then he's attacking again, constantly attacking, moving with this rook. So I'm thinking, let's get rid of this pawn formation that he's got here. But no, still coming down and attacking. Oh, but it's... Yeah. Um, I was definitely flustered in this game and the moves that you were coming out with were so strong. Um, to me, they were strong. I mean, I'm not a master. I don't know. Rook A1 with... Ah. Rook E1. Ah, right, okay. Right. Okay, so then I thought, well, I'm going to bring my rook up and see if I can take some of your pawns off. Um... Why did you not manage the rook a a one then? After all that, so you got your rook a one there. Okay, yeah, you can't do any further with that one. That's fine. Okay. I was expecting a few more checks from your rook as well on my king in this position, but then obviously you were blocking my king from actually getting up and attacking this pawn which I thought was a good touch, but then I thought maybe you potentially could just do that anyway and support this pawn. But then obviously my rook can come here and take that pawn off. So yeah, it's very tricky. This end game to me, this is really one of the types of games I want to play over the board. Maybe not so strong because I mean, you did play some, I thought some strong moves in this end game, um, which was really interesting. <laughs> Uh, I was pinpointing every move that you were making at this point. And I thought, what? Where's he getting this stuff from? But as I looked at the picture, 
your material was um, lessening and I'm thinking maybe I'm improving my position a little bit. But then I did get worried when you did do this paw move. As you see, the gauge bar showing it's a draw. So maybe I'm making a mistake here. And then the king comes down and um, I'm thinking now we're going to potentially get a pawn promotion if we can move our king across and stop your rook from putting more checks on. Yes. Yes. Altogether a very good game. Thank you very much. Indeed. <laughs> uh, you've used up my hour. Um, this is the thing. You used up my hour. I usually get about two or three games in. <laughs> it's not terrible English. That's very good English. I'm going to say thank you very much for the game. I'm definitely signing out. I will be back later on sometime today. Cheers. Thanks a lot, guys. All girls, ladies, whichever. <laughs>